Hey, welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. It's winter time, my fig trees are dormant. It's a perfect time to prune them up. So when we're talking about pruning figs, we have to consider many different factors. Uh, are you growing figs in pots? Are you growing them in the ground? Because you treat them a little bit differently. Are you growing figs in a warmer climate with a longer growing season? Or are you up north growing in the cold where you, you don't have much of a season? That affects how you prune. Are the trees, are the trees, you know, three or four year old trees or are they tiny little one year old transplants that are just barely getting off the ground? You treat each of those differently. And so today I wanna to show you, I'm just gonna go through my figs, uh, some of which are really gnarly and in bad shape and they really need to be trimmed up. And some of them need to be severely pruned some of them need to be uh, hacked down and reoriented to have a little bit of root pruning done. So we're gonna do some of that as well. And uh, yeah, so figs, man. Everybody loves figs. Uh, they're, they're not hard to grow, but sometimes they're a little bit confusing on how you trim them up and keep them pruned. So let's go look at the figs. You can see I've got fig trees in all manner of different stages. And uh, each stage has to be treated a little bit differently. I have some uh, really gnarly looking growth in here and you can see they're already starting to bud out so it's time to get this done it was time uh, last month but uh, you know things get away from you things like this you've got a, an older tree you treat that differently than you do these young guys down here and uh, you know, let me show you what we do here what I have here is about a two-year-old tree and it's pretty sturdy it's got a nice trunk I uh, prefer to grow my fig trees as trees not as bushes and so the goal of pruning is to, uh, in, in your first and second, your early years, is to shape your tree and you sacrifice production over, uh, you know, you sacrifice production for growth. And so the goal in a potted fig for me, down with a long growing season, is to uh, get this thing established and firmly, uh, firmly growing. And this little black Greek is a good example. Now he's leaning to one side. Um, I might correct that, I might not. Uh, all I would have to do is pull this thing up, do a little bit of root pruning, which means literally cutting off some of the roots and planting him back in to orient him straight up and down. But uh, other than that, he's got a, a good start here. Um, so what you wanna do is get your fig trees growing with three or four main scaffold branches. That's the structure of the tree. And so I've got two of them here. This is a good start. This little guy right here is a little weak but uh, and I'm going to take that one out but uh, you want you want a, a nice Y shape or you want a crown shape you want to try to to uh, encourage your tree to grow into a nice crown shape three maybe four good strong scaffolds and uh, from that established scaffold shape then your fruiting branches will grow out and you can you can adjust your tree you can you can well you could take this tree all the way down to the stump and it would still grow so uh, what I have here is a well-established Y shape. And then up here, I've got all this growth from last year. And all this stuff right here is, uh, is gonna have to go because it doesn't, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't encourage an even growth here. So this is a little bit of a weakling branch here. This is where all the vigor is going. But I want my scaffolds to be relatively even. Um, I want, the, I want the tree to come up and branch out in a relatively even manner. So, on this tree I've got some decisions to make. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this entire side out. Always keep your tags well accounted for. And what I'm going to do with this is uh, let this be, establish this plant with these two as my scaffold. And so, I'm gonna come in and take off all this side growth that's not really contributing to my tree here. And I'm going to trim this tree all the way back to a Y shape. All right, this little ruby right here has some nice growth way up high. Um, I want this tree to be a single, uh, a single trunk tree and I want it to branch out up here like it's doing quite well. And so all of this stuff down here that's coming up in the pot, all these shoots, they got to go. Because what they're doing is they're taking energy away from the main growth. On this tiger stripe, this is a three-year-old plant, I believe. 
let's see here. Um, it's got a nice trunk. It's got two main scaffolds. That's good. But this one is growing far higher than this one is. And I want to bring them back to be about the same height just so that I can manage the tree. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here to about, uh, about the same height as this. And I'm going to make a cut. Now, that's a good cutting. I'm going to encourage this. There's a little sprout coming, a little bud coming up right here that might make a nice third scaffold, which is what we want. So I'll leave that there. I will leave this alone. On a uh, fig tree, your, new, your main crop comes in on your new growth. And so once you've got your scaffolds established, you want to encourage side growth and new growth. And then you manage that differently. When you're trying to shape and structure a tree, you're uh, taking some drastic cuts here and there, but uh, you know it's going to pay off in the end when you've got a healthy open canopy. This, uh, this is a good structure, a good start. What I have here, what I've got going on here is a study in two different uh, fig trees, good and bad. This guy right here, this is a Texas blue giant. This is in bad shape. Um, I left this branch on last year because it had a lot of fruit on it but it's uh, you can see this is not a good shape for a tree I took this last year down to literally a stump and um, it's put on all this growth where I cut it so we can shape this up we can build scaffolding on this tree on this uh, fig tree and we can expect fruiting branches later uh, this one this uh, little black Italian has been pruned up very nicely and you can see it's got a nice structure it's a, a, a nice tall stem here uh, trunk and then up here we've got our main scaffolds branching out. That's what I want to see. Last year I supported this because it had fruit. And this puts on fruit that's really large fruit. So this tree is in bad shape. I'm, I'm going to eliminate this completely. All right, what do we got here? I don't need this. I've got a nice section up here. I'm going to take out everything down here so what we have is now a tree that has four future scaffolds I would really prefer if this guy would grow this way but as it is that's about the best we can do right now that's really healthy wood this doesn't feel real healthy. I might take this off. Now you might say that's extreme. We've cut this tree back quite a bit. Uh, there's some damage there. We're gonna have to trim that off. But uh, this tree will, you'll be stunned how quickly these things grow. You can already see I got a Braba crop coming in. That right there is a little fig. It's called a Braba. That's your first flush of fruit and it comes from the old wood. And if you look along your fig plant, you can sometimes see them uh, budding out, these little Braba crops. They're usually not as tasty as your main crop, which comes on your new growth. And I don't want this tree putting energy to a Brava crop. So I'll pluck that off of there. So that's all we're gonna do to this guy, Texas Blue Giant. We're gonna have three main scaffolds now. And we're gonna see how this guy grows. Now this over here, uh, this is a hunt. I, did, uh, I grew this from a cutting in 2017. So this is three years old, but I've cut it back several times because it won't grow right. I have a trunk and I've got two main scaffolds and I could, hmm, what are we going to do with this tree? Yeah, I think I'll take this and I'll leave this to grow as a, as a Y shape. I don't want this main branch over here getting much taller than this branch. This will be a nice one in the middle. This will be nice. So I'm going to take this off right here. And this, by taking off this apical bud is what it's called. There's a lot of little apical buds here. That's where all the growth hormone is concentrated in a fig tree. And so if you take that off, it's going to force growth out along the stem or along, along the branch. And so as you force growth out, that gives you opportunity to see, okay, I can have a, a fruiting branch come out here, here, uh, each bud along, each node along the branch has a bud on it uh, and, and that has the potential to grow a fruiting branch. 
and you can see which direction they're going to grow. And so you can look and see uh, where your tree is going to put out you know, new growth, and you can trim accordingly. So I'm going to trim off again because this, 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 these are all going to be forced to grow now. Uh, make your cuts at an angle. It's just good, uh, good pruning. And yeah, I think that's all we're going to do with this tree for now. Here's trouble. This is not growing the way I want it to grow. This Laterula honey fig is, is growing like a bush. You can see all this growth coming up in here. You've got all these different trunks coming up. What I want to do is reorient this to grow as a tree. And so what I have here, I have a nice trunk that has some, some decent scaffolding going on. Uh, this one here has a, a nice Y in it. In fact, this one here is probably our best our best our best bet so as uh, crazy as it sounds I'm gonna clear this entire fig tree the fig bush I'm gonna clear it all out except for this one right here uh, go. yet if you pull up these these suckers that grow all down around your plant you can sometimes get a nice root system like this this will be I'll put this in some soil and I'll have another honey fig. Okay, so I changed my mind. I liked the structure of this. So what I'm going to have to do now is dig this whole thing up and repot it so it's oriented in a way that pleases me. Ugh. I'm going to break this root ball up a bit. Get some of this soil out of here. I should be keeping this soil. All right, with this tree, you can see it's a small tree and the root system is enormous. So by pruning off some of that root system, you're not hurting your tree. There's plenty of root down in here and I'm just gonna peel that back just like so. Feed that back to the plant. See, there's plenty of roots in here to support this plant. Plenty. Just a smaller root ball is what we're after so that I can replant and reorient this thing in its pot. Yeah. That's what we want. Let's get him back in there, oriented the right way. So there, what we've done is we've taken this tree, which was laying this way, and we've got it going straight up and down now. That's good. Always mulch well. to keep moisture in and now that this tree is stressed it needs all the pampering it can get but there we have properly righted our laterula honey fig it's got a fairly decent structure moving forward there we go I'm gonna do the same here I'm going to reorient this you can see this has circling roots Lots and lots of circling roots, different distinct layers, which tells me something's going on in my soil. Do we have enough drainage? Yes, we do. So I'm going to pull off this mat of rice hulls, which contain my weed layer. It makes it real easy just to pull that right off of there. I have uh, taken off almost half of this tree, so uh, I'm not going to be concerned about taking off. A good amount of the root system here. So this uh, looks brutal, but it's not. All right. So now we can set this guy in the pot, orient it in the right way, unbind some of those roots, and direct them in the correct direction. 
we've literally chopped the root ball so that it will fit in the direction we want it to grow. And you can see that I've directed some of the roots downward and unbound them a bit. And you can break that root ball up if you want to, but I'm going to set it right in there, oriented in the direction I want it to grow. And now we're going to backfill. Now some mulch on top to help keep moisture in, and this tree looks better. So we've taken a really gnarly, nasty looking tree that's uh, pretty old and hasn't been growing as a tree. And we've reoriented this branch. We selected a branch that had a couple of good looking scaffolds, at least the best this one could offer. And so we've taken it and we have our structure here and we're going to see what we can do with uh, these branches up here. We're gonna see what they give us. This feels a little long to me, but this tree's been stressed out enough. Yeah, we're gonna go with it just like this. This is awful. This is not what you wanna see in a fig tree. We're gonna to have to do some serious pruning here. Yeah, this also is a very bad situation where it's uh, sprawling out like a bush. Though, I might leave it that way because it's got some nice healthy growth. It's a pretty old plant right there. This guy is just fine. This is a smith and I like these figs, but I've got so much dense growth in here. So what this tells me, here's, here's what you want to look for in a, in a, to see if your figs are happy. See how there's a lot of space between each of these growth nodes? You got about two to three inches in some of them. As it gets up here, these grew a lot slower. And it grew a lot slower because there was uh, not enough resources in this pot. This has been a, this is an older plant. I've trimmed it back several times, but it just doesn't have vigor down there. That tells me that the pot is depleted or this plant needs to be root pruned a little bit because it's root bound in there. But whatever is happening, it's not growing very fast. So uh, we've got all this gnarly growth up here, and uh, we're gonna have to look at those roots. I won't do that today, but I need to take this out, take a look at it, and maybe even trim it back pretty severely. Because it's not giving me strong scaffolds here. These are just little stubby guys. They're pretty strong, but they're not. This will make a really dense plant that won't be healthy. There'll be too much leaf growth up here. Yeah, we're gonna trim that one back. This guy right here is in good shape. I've got a nice tall, uh, nice tall trunk there. Got some scaffolds here. Yeah, we'll leave that. Maybe, maybe uh, see how that does this year. Another one down here. This guy is just bushy. We're gonna have to trim a lot of that out of there. Here's a here's a situation where you might want to uh, do some pinching. All right, what is this? This is a violet de Bordeaux. So it's one tall plant got an apical bud right there this is where the growth hormone is concentrated right here and it will keep growing straight if you let it if you pinch this bud off actually it's pretty tough we'll have to trim that off what it'll do is that all these branching nodes down here will send out branches that's what we want to do with this guy here's a tree that's in pretty good shape I got a nice trunk I'm gonna have to eliminate some of this growth here uh, but you can see I've got a scaffold here one there, one there, one there. It's all going in different directions. That's what I want. What I'm gonna to have to do is, is, is even this tree out. Again, what I'm doing is just trying to even this tree out and to have an open center where the, the branches and leaves aren't, aren't covering, making a real dense canopy so that the sunlight is uh, kept from getting into the middle of the tree. I want some airflow. This tree might still be a little dense, but I've got a good structure on it and uh, this has been a, a very good tree. We're gonna take that off too. This is a highly desirable LSU purple, but it is not growing in a desirable manner. Uh, I'm gonna to have to make some hard decisions here. Wanna see how hard decisions are made around here? You just start chopping. What's gonna happen here is this will become my main my main uh, trunk and future growth we will shape 
to uh, produce scaffolds. This is sad because I let this get this way and now I'm having to come back and do some crazy uh, reshaping and starting over down here. But sometimes you have to. Don't be afraid to do that. Fig trees are very forgiving. This tree will be back with a vengeance. And if you follow my channel, you'll see it. And I think you'll be amazed how quickly this tree will come back. Sometimes you got to start over with these trees, especially when you've got this mass of, of gnarly growth like that. Don't be afraid to do that. Here's an example of a pretty good tree. I've got one main trunk. I've got some main scaffolds coming out. I've just got a little density forming. So I'm going to just clean this up a little bit to keep the middle open. Yeah. That's a good shape there. That was a little dead, damaged wood there. Now, on this tree, I've got a lot of slow growth up here. Again, it's probably because there's a, a, a nutritional deficiency. It's probably root bound, needs root pruning. This tree's been in here, uh, white Kadota. I think it's been in here three years. So it's probably about time to, to pull this out and prune those roots down and take some of this growth off. Um, but I'm going to give it another year and see what happens. But some of this density up here has me concerned. That's going to put on a lot of leaves that I don't need. I don't need all those leaves. But if I take the apical buds off, it's going to force more side branching. So, you know what? I'm just going to leave this as it is. When you prune your trees, a lot of times, especially your in-ground trees, a lot of times those uh, shoots that are coming up down by the, the base of the tree, you dig those out. And if you've got some roots on there, you could plant this and you've got a head start on a new tree. And you can propagate even something like this. It's got just a little bit of root on there. This might give me a tree. I have a, a, a bud there and a bud there. There might be enough on this one. This, this is pushing it. But this one will almost certainly grow. And I've got a few others back here that uh, have some roots on them. And with this, you can propagate new trees. I'm going to take one of these 12-inch uh, propagating pots, these deep ones here, and I'm going to put some pine bark in the bottom. That's because the holes are big. Pine bark will help to uh, keep the soil in there. I'm going to take my little rooted cutting here. I'm going to drop it down in there. I'm going to fill it in with a good uh, loose, well-draining potting soil and hopefully this little guy will grow into another fig tree like I need any more huh let's go put some soil on it there we go pack that in there pretty good nice and firm I like a little bit of mulch on top rice holes make good mulch and I'm gonna label it and water it in well and hopefully this little good I mean there, there's no reason to think this won't grow it's got a root system it's got an apical bud, it's nice uh, tender growth, it feels healthy, and it's a variety I really have, I have wanted to uh, enjoy this Laterula honey fig. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Let's label it. All right, little dude, you're off to a good start. Had a good day pruning today. Thanks for joining us on Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on Instagram. And uh, happy gardening to you. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.